my dog is eating the oatmeal now. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Hey guys, Maggie here. Um, today we're gonna do a video that I'm surprised we never did, but I was thinking about it as I was helping a patient and their caregiver um, while I was at work empty their bag for the first time and I realized how difficult it can be to close up some of these bags and also keep them clean. So in this video I'm going to show more of a mobile way, I guess like a if you're out and about on the town or whatever, just more of a simple way with baby wipes to empty and clean and close up the pouch. So I'm going to show a velcro closure and a clip closure drainable pouch. Um, you guys are going to laugh at how I set up the video because I don't use my actual stoma. <laughs> Did y'all just hear that? My stoma made noise. Can you be quiet? Like, I'm trying to film. How rude. But first, I wanted to talk about something Zach and I just went to. Um, I think it was last Friday. But by the time this video goes up, it's going to be like a couple Fridays. We went to the Cure for IVD Gala, um, which was so awesome. Chris Petticone. Uh, set up this whole thing. It was amazing. There was tons of donors um, for auction items and um, just really generous people donating for research because all of Cure for IBD's funds that they raise goes to um, IBD research, which is so cool. It was awesome because some of the GI doctors from where I work and where I was a patient were there. It was so cool. I was like, ah, it's starstruck. <laughs> but um, we got this cute little bag. Everybody got a little drawstring bag with some goodies inside. Cure for IBD. Um, there's the website. We are doing a walk. It's actually at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Um, it's a 5K. I know there's a walking part of it because I signed up to walk. Maggie does not run very well um but that is going to be happening so i will put some details below maybe i'll i'll put something right here some details because they're not coming to my mind right now but everybody sets up a fundraising page and um cure for ibd has a team so i'm very excited for that zach and i are going to go to that as well but i also wanted to show you the gala items that we won they had like a silent auction and Zach and I were looking at some of the art and we really liked them. So I'll show you. It's actually behind me here. That's what this big thing is. This is what I um, won in the auction. Look at my ring light. Good lord. How do I? There we go. Can you see? So it's supposed to be um, Basking Ridge, New Jersey with all these little, I don't know, I think there's a church and a house and it's just so pretty. I was so excited and I won. I literally like, I get vicious at auctions. Um, if I want it, it's mine. <laughs> I literally stalked the painting. I was like, nobody else write their name down on this because it is mine. Um, and then the two paintings that Zach won are these little beach ones. Or not beach, like little sailboat ones. So we got two of these. And we are trying to figure out where we want to put them. Let me gently put this down. Let me show you the other one. Try not to get the ring light. So look at how nice that is. But anyway, I'll put all the information below for the chop walk and for Cure for IBD. It's so like awesome. Just, just all the people that wound up. Sorry, I'm going to adjust this. All the people that wound up coming. And I finally got to meet Carrie. She is an online advocate as well for IBD. And we've been talking for years now. Like literally years online. Um, but we keep missing each other at all the different IBD events. So we finally showed up to like both of us showed up to this one event. Um, so that was really cool. I'm so excited to meet her. All right, guys, enough of that. So let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can see, I attached the bag to my side over my shirt. I do have a stoma on this side, but I decided for the purposes of this video, um, I didn't want to have to put on two new bags just to empty it. And as well, I didn't want to show you my output. Um, I like to not gross out my viewers because, I don't know, I don't think 
showing my output would help anybody. I try to be as real as I can on this channel, but that's a little too real for me. So, uh, my output in this bag is actually oatmeal. It's like the perfect consistency, very close to what my stoma puts out normally. So, I thought this would be awesome to show you, um, almost identical on how I would clean it. Now when I work in the hospital, sometimes it's hard to get the kids out of bed to go to the bathroom to empty their bags. So what I wind up doing is taking a bowl or a urinal or something like this. Obviously not a nice ceramic bowl. We don't have those available at the hospital. But take a bowl and I use baby wipes. Um, that's the most simple way when you can't get the kid out of bed moving. Um, now, when I used to use the emptying bags, I'd use water. Um, I usually bring my bag over to the sink and kind of take a cup, like cup my hand, and pour water into the end just to rinse it out and then empty it back in the toilet. And that would do great. Um, I definitely got it cleaner than baby wipes, but I'm going to show you baby wipe version. I notice a lot of new patients have difficulty closing the bag back up, so I think that's going to be part of this video, just showing you, you know, after you empty it, here's how you close it again, because <laughs> they can be kind of confusing. Okay, so I'm going to open the end of this bag. Um, this one is actually really nice. It has an extra piece of Velcro. A little bit of plastic that wraps around the bottom just for that extra security. So I'm just going to peel this up. You can see it kind of unfolds. Got another little bit of Velcro here. Unfold it all the way. And then there are these two stiff pieces of plastic that you have to push together to get it to open. Um, this is why I don't particularly like this style of bag. Although the Cola Set bags, this was so easy to do. Um, some of them I find when you try and press them together, it sort of goes like this or it goes like that and it's just so hard to get them open, but this was super easy. I actually really like this. Um, so then you can squeeze your output. If it's more liquidy, it'll come out a lot easier, but this, this might be a little difficult. Let's see. I will do my best. Sometimes you can't get all of the output out. That's totally fine. You just want to make sure that you're getting a majority of it out because you don't want to have to immediately go back to the bathroom to re-empty. So let me say, ah, there we go. Some people prefer to wear gloves. Some people don't. Um, obviously, I would wear gloves as a nurse. Um, but when it was just me and you're in your home, you have a sink and water, like, Obviously, I'm not going to wear gloves every single time. So, the output is out. I'm going to set this aside. It's kind of grossing me out, even though it's not real. Um, I'm going to take one baby wipe, and I've opened up the bottom here. And I'm just going to stick it in there. And I like to clean around the edges. You get it as clean as you can. Um, this is not a science. You can't get it perfect every time. Take a second one for good measure. Sometimes you might need more, sometimes less. I like to make sure that at least the first couple folds are clean. Like within the plastic. Here we go. Okay. And then if you want, you can take a third wipe, close it up, and just clean the outside like this. I'm not going to worry about that because this is not real, it's oatmeal, thank goodness. Alright, now I'm going to close it up again. So I'm going to fold it, fold it, fold it. You can see the Velcro, it's going to click. Make sure it's completely clicked. So we've got the first part, usually the bag will end there, you only have one thing of Velcro. But this one, like I said, it has the extra security of a piece of plastic going around the bottom and then Velcro on the back. And sometimes what you'll even see is a piece of Velcro somewhere like up here um, and then another piece on the end of that bag and it'll fold up so your bag will not be nearly as long as it was. But this does not have that, it's just like this. And then we're, we're good to go, our ostomy is flat, um, good to go. Okay, here is the other type of bag I'm going to show you. This one is a Convitec bag, I'm pretty sure. And it has a clip closure. Um, they make clips so, like there's so many different types now, so I'm gonna show you the basic, uh, most popular one. But know that 
clips can come in all different sizes, shapes, and colors. <laughs> so, let's bring the bowl over. It's oatmeal, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Goodness gracious, I would pick, like, rush hour to film this video. The whole world is driving by my house right now. Alright, so to empty this, this one is just a little bit more simple. Um, a little easier to empty, but a little harder to clean. So I'm gonna push this little tab in, which loosens the clip. Take this off, set it aside, don't lose it. Um, I'm gonna empty the bag very similarly to how I did before. This output is a little thicker. Needed a little bit more water in this oatmeal. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I'm getting oatmeal all over my hands. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I've emptied the bag. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna take a baby wipe, and this is why it's a little bit more difficult. You don't have the sturdiness of the plastic at the end, um, but try and open it as best as you can, and same principle, just gonna stick the baby wipe inside. This is where, if you have like a bottle, a small bottle of water, just to squirt in there and clean it out, rinse it out really good, I think that would be such a good idea. Um, I don't know. This is why I used water, because this is the type of uh, bag that I used. I used clips. Let me take another one. I might need a third, I don't know. Oatmeal is not very gross though. It's not very um, sticky, I guess. It's not sticking in the end of the bag here. All right, so I'm cleaning it pretty well. There we go. And then, this is where, I know, nobody would do this. You'd get a new wipe. I don't want to waste them, guys. This is where I would close up the end of the bag and kind of wipe along the edge there just to make sure that nothing is going to leak out the bottom. Kind of squeeze it, make sure you're getting it all out. There we go. Now I'm gonna put the clip back on the end of the bag. So you're going to open it up like this. Make sure that the inside part of the clip is on the front of the bag. Fold the plastic right over the end of that clip. And then the outer part of the clip clicks on. Like that. And then you're good to go. All right guys, I hope you found that to be a simple way to empty your bag, particularly on the go. Um, if you're at home, water is always your friend to help clean out the bag, uh, but sometimes it's not always possible. That's why I showed it with baby wipes. Um, you just wanna make sure that your bag is as clean as you can get it at the end, because you don't want anything leaking out of the bottom and ruining your clothing. Had it happen, so. Um, yeah, pretty simple, straightforward. I hope this helped you. And also with the closing of the bag, because that can be difficult. All right, guys. I will see y'all soon.